Did you know that Jude Bellingham has already equaled a Real Madrid goal-scoring record set by the Portuguese legend Cristiano Ronaldo? Remember that the former is a midfielder, not a forward like the iconic CR7. You heard that right, the Englishman is turning out to be a bargain after Real Madrid splashed over 100 million euros to sign him from Borussia Dortmund. Not only that, but just after a month in Spain, he managed to win the La Liga Player of the Month award. This is something that Pedri, Gavi, and Frankie de Jong all failed to achieve since they started playing for Barcelona. Did we get your attention, Barca fans? Wearing Zidane's iconic number 5 shirt, Jude is already becoming a fan favorite as he had the best possible start as a new Real Madrid player. He's the main reason Real Madrid are at the top of the table and we'll tell you why. So if you want to learn who Jude Bellingham is, how he made it to the highest of levels, and why he's on his way to dominate La Liga for years to come, hit those like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch to the end of the video. Jude was born on June 29, 2003 in the market town of Stourbridge, England. He's the eldest of two children born of the union between his father, Mark Bellingham, and his mother, Denise. Jude's father, Mark, a policeman, used to be a prolific goal scorer in non-league football. He reportedly scored around 700 goals in 900 appearances at clubs including Lymington, Stourbridge, and Sutton Coldfield Town. That's where Jude got his goal-scoring instincts from. However, Mark failed to make it as a professional. Watching his father play and hearing his stories made young Jude fall in love with the beautiful game. Eventually, Jude decided to complete what his father failed to do and set the goal with his family to become a professional football player one day. Jude began attending Prairie School in Edgebeston in Birmingham, where his father enrolled him in the under-8 Birmingham City team. It was a dream come true for young Jude as he's been a Birmingham fan since he was 6 years old. To say that the young boy was an instant hit is an understatement. He looked far superior to other players his age. His rare ability made him stand out in every youth rank he played at. At just 14 and 15, Jude was already promoted to the under-18 and under-23 squads. His physicality, fitness, and work ethic were miles ahead of other players his age, which allowed him to compete with older and stronger players, hence his meteoric rise through the youth ranks. In July 2019, Jude earned a two-year scholarship with Birmingham City. Just like that, he fulfilled his father's dream of becoming a professional footballer, signing his first senior contract at just 16 years and 38 days. Jude immediately became an essential piece in the Blues' first lineup, scoring two goals in his first two games. He finished the 2019-2020 season with 41 appearances, four goals, and two assists. His impressive performances caught the attention of several big clubs. Yes, already! He was just a 16-year-old boy, but he was balling out like a veteran in the championship. So Manchester United came sniffing around trying to sign the player. They even invited Jude on a training ground tour with the great Sir Alex Ferguson. United manager at the time, Ole Solskjaer, admitted recently that he desperately wanted to sign Bellingham as he was a typical Manchester United player. However, Jude and his family had a different plan in mind. Jadon Sancho's experiment of leaving the Premier League to join Dortmund proved successful then. The English winger developed into one of the hottest prospects in the world in Germany. So when Dortmund knocked, Jude only wanted to join the Bundesliga. He was convinced that the golden black t-shirt would be the best for his development, which eventually turned out to be true. On July 23, 2020, Jude Bellingham officially joined Borussia Dortmund from Birmingham City for 30 million euros. By this transfer, Jude became the most expensive 17-year-old in the game's history. But before we move on to his journey in Germany, let us give you a hint how much loved and appreciated Jude was in Birmingham. Milan retired the number 3 after Maldani's departure, Napoli's number 10 for Maradona, Ajax's number 14 for Johan Cruyff. You've got the picture. Clubs retire the shirt numbers of their legends once they leave or retire. Well, Birmingham decided to retire Jude's number 22 shirt after he left for Germany, which shows how much impact the young lad had on his former club. Once again, Jude hit the ground running as he scored his first goal in his debut against Duisburg in the German Cup and became Dortmund's youngest ever goal scorer. Five days later, he provided his first assist on his Bundesliga debut. He also broke Phil Foden's record as the youngest Englishman to start in a Champions League game. If that wasn't impressive, we don't know what is. In November 2020, after James Ward-Prowse and Trent Alexander-Arnold withdrew from the English national squad, Gareth Southgate decided to give Bellingham his first national call-up in a friendly game against Ireland. 
At 17 years, 136 days, he became England's third youngest full international with only Theo Walcott and Wayne Rooney playing for the national team at a younger age. Jude finished his first season in Germany with 46 appearances, 4 goals, and 4 assists. A meteoric rise, that's the definition of Jude's career. At the end of his first campaign in Germany, Jude was called by Southgate to be a part of the England squad for the 2020 Euro Tournament, which was played in June 2021 due to the COVID pandemic. England reached the final but lost the title to Italy after a penalty shootout. At the same time, Jude played a total of 55 minutes throughout the whole tournament. Still, this didn't stop Bellingham from developing. He went on to have a better second season with Dortmund, playing 44 games, scoring 6 goals, and registering 14 assists. You probably think things can't get any better for Jude, right? Well, you're wrong. He became the best player in Dortmund's squad, and in the previous 2022-2023 season, he scored 14 goals and registered 7 assists in 42 games. That's crazy for a midfielder. His performances earned him a starting position in Southgate's lineup, starting all of England's five games in the 2022 Qatar World Cup, where he scored one goal against Iran and assisted another against Senegal. Jude was also one step away from winning the league for Dortmund for the first time in nine years. However, he sustained a knee injury that sidelined him for the final league game against Mainz. Dortmund drew 2-2 and lost the title to Bayern Munich in a tragic way. And this brings us to the latest summer transfer window. Wait, did you think that Real Madrid would wait until the window opens to strike a deal with Dortmund, knowing that clubs like Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea, and Liverpool are all interested in June? No, that's not how Madrid operates. In fact, they came to an agreement since April, and in June 2023, the move was quickly finalized by Florentino Perez and his men in Spain. They knew that getting the player early in the summer for 103 million euros fixed fee plus 30 million euros in add-ons would be an absolute bargain. People expected Jude to be that tempo setter in midfield, carrying the ball with his explosive forward runs. Well, Ancelotti had a totally different plan for the young Englishman. After Benzema's departure, and with the club's only number 9 available, the 33-year-old Jose Lu, the Italian shifted his formation from the usual 4-3-3 Real Madrid implemented in recent years to a 4-3-1-2 diamond lineup with both Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo as forwards. With Jomini as a defensive midfielder, Camavingo on his left and Valverde on the right, Bellingham was deployed as the number 10 or the tip of the midfield diamond. He has all the freedom in the world to roam the midfield, drop deep to help with the build-up phase, but most importantly, make clever and penetrating runs resulting in goal-scoring opportunities. This type of runs was clear during Real Madrid's friendly games, especially against Manchester United. Jude made a fantastic run behind, putting himself through with the goalkeeper and ended up scoring. Still, nobody expected the fiery start to life in Spain the Englishman just had. Jude scored five goals in the first four league games and registered one assist. In doing so, he already equaled Cristiano Ronaldo's record of scoring five goals in his first four La Liga games. We're talking about a midfielder, guys, not a winger or a striker. Real Madrid are currently top of the table with 15 points after winning all their games. But did you know that Jude won nine points on his own thanks to his late winners against Getafe and Celta Vigo and a brace against Almeria? Not only that, he also won Real Madrid's first Champions League game against Union Berlin with a last second goal. The boy wearing the legendary number 5 shirt that once belonged to the iconic Zinedine Zidane is already building a legendary status for himself at the Bernabeu. His goal celebration, standing tall in front of Madrid fans while holding his hands up, is becoming the player's trademark as he slowly climbs to the top of Spanish football. Fans are saying that Jude Bellingham is what Paul Pogba could have been. Well, he might become even better than La Pioche. The boy can do it all. He can dribble out of tight spaces, drop deep to link play, and carry the ball thanks to his close ball control and physicality. If that wasn't enough, he's adding goals to his repertoire as he's becoming a poacher nowadays. He's literally the complete midfielder, and that's why paying 100 million euros for him is an absolute bargain. What do you think? Will Jude Bellingham take over La Liga and become a Real Madrid legend? Or is it too early to judge the 20-year-old player? Share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more content.